all right welcome back this is our first lecture in python gui development course all right so in order for gui development i will recommend you to download an ide that is pycharm which is really helpful uh, actually it has a lot of properties you can see while using and if you want to download uh, other ides you can download it but i will recommend you to download uh, ide you um, PyCharm ID, you can download it from the official side of JetBrains. All right, so on a, on this website, you will go on Tools, then you will go on PyCharm. All right. So after going on PyCharm, it will uh, show you two options. That is, if you want to download it for the community or for professional development, so you can download it uh, the community version as it is the light version so I'm downloading the community version as it is free and open source so I'm downloading it here all right as I've already downloaded this before so I'm pausing it as I have already downloaded it before so I'm having this here all right so now i am installing it you can see here yes then next you can change the option if you want to you can change the path you can change the path to wherever you want i just want to download it in my c drive so i'm clicking on next next and next so you can create a if your PC is 32 bit or your PC is 64 bit so um, take it as my PC is 64 bit and you can download it install JRE86 by JetBrains no I'm not installing it I'm just installing the 64 bit version so alright so it is in JetBrains so it is extracting here So it will take uh, some time. You can see as it is extracting some of the things. All right. So it is just. It will take some time to extract. All right. So uh, basically, in GUI development, uh, we people will design. The GUI application by using some widgets, the some core widgets. That is, as you have, as everything is GUI basically, as everything you are seeing here in Windows, everything is GUI, and in other things also you are using, you are using GUI in day-to-day -day life. All right, it is about to finish, and then click Run PyCon. So it is up and running. All right. So it is showing some. If you want to start using Idea Vim, it is showing some of these plugins. If you want to import that, you can import it here and skip remaining back to if you want to change the themes you can change it here actually I just prefer it here uh, or you can set whatever you want all right all right so it is starting so this is our first window all right so after then create a new project for creating a GUI project will be just naming it whatever we want project and be G U I T E V double alright so create and you can see it is loading my project 
all right it will take some time all right you can see this uh, installing setup tool it is as it is installing some tools all right so after this will be completed your project will be up and running all right see you in the next lecture all right thank you